Gabby and Martina. They lead 5-4. It's kind of a choppy first set. Yeah, Jay. it's both it of is. our both on our audio <laughs> and on the court. <laughs> Nobody's really developed what looks like any sort of a plan. I think they've got a plan. It's just not executing it right now. Gabby's the only woman in, on the tour that can hit the roller from outside of the service box as well. It's a very tough shot because you want to keep your overheads deep and low. I would say other people can do it, just not effectively. She's able to, 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 to hit a sh purposeful shot. That yeah, other, other people can do it from inside the service box. I don't see any other females hitting it. She can hit it from halfway yep. between the service line and the baseline. They are really pounding that ball. Anya's doing a great job of catching up with Rush these easy short forehand. It's very unsettling to play against a team that's pounding you. So you've got to throw your lobs up much higher and much deeper. Nice move by Anya. Heather throws up a high lob, brings Anya back. is when to let these overheads go into the screen. You're reaching arrow there. Some people panic and don't want to let it go into the screen and try it, but it's very hard to control off the deck, especially with the spin and the pace. Martina in the white top. That's the play that Anya likes. She's always moving forward. doing a good job. I think th that Gabby should hit those rollers into the ad court. Heather is very comfortable chasing them down. There, pulled her back out of the service box and then drove it into the space. Five all, first set to serve, and there's Heather staying back, so they're taking away their target.
And that's a good example of not wanting to let a ball go into the screens when it was just too hard to handle. You should have let that go through. It was too low. She had to volley up, and then they catch Heather out of position in the coverage. Twelve thirty. Martina hits a half pace return, and then brings their team up to net. Underlay, underlay, fast feet, fast hands. It's tough. You want to catch up, but you've got to stay calm once you get there. Yeah, I think the instinct once you get there is to rush through it. Love 40. Hate to see that. It's a close point score game, but it's not close. It's a weird feeling first match. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, uh, Anya and Heather have a game plan, and I like it. They're they're getting into the points. The problem is. Martina and Gabby are brilliant when they're at net. Right. So they're in their favorite spot the whole, whole set. I guess it's the lesser of two evils, right? Yeah. I mean, even if they're good at the net, you're better off giving yourself a chance. Right. This is, you know, Gabby's serve sometimes can be short, and it is the serve that they can step in and attack. Okay, Heather could really put that ball down the line because Gabby's not shifting enough to the left. There's an opportunity there. There you go. There's always that line because Gabby's always looking to take that ball out of the middle. You can execute uh, that shot. You'll get Gabby to reach. And he got the ball she wanted, that short forehand. Just didn't execute the play. Andrakova Nikolescu are two points from the set. Drops her head, uh, head of her paddle down. She goes to hit that roller. Ah. It's the same play she tried before. She looks for that play, Anya. She loves to hit that inside out forehand. 
2015. Nice rip. Still set point. Gabby was cutting to the middle. Yep. You always got to look to hit behind her if you can. Nice move. All right, well, it was an up and down. We'll see what happens since after the break, but we'll be right back in a moment after these messages right here on the APTA Network presented by ENET Live. They raise their hands out there, the more they'll raise their hands in here. Good Sports gives kids the lifelong benefits of sports by providing equipment to those most in need. Donate today because kids who play do better. Welcome back to the APTA Grand Prix Series, presented by ENET Live. We're in the women's uh, match with Kazakavich Prop. Gabri Nicolescu and Martina Andrakova got the first set, 7-5. We're just starting the second set. Temperature is warming up. Heather Prop serving. Prop and Kazakavich. Kadvich got off to a good start in the first set, but they just couldn't hold on to the lead. And you don't want to let Gabby and Martina back into a set. They'll just start rolling. A step back, and we talked about that Martina holds it. Gabby Nicolescu on the ad side with the white hat with her back to the screen. She's on the, the left. Martina and Dracovic on the white top on the do side. Heather Prop is serving and Anya Kazakavich is her partner and they are staying, Lauren, they're going to stay with the same tactic of staying back. First game for Martina and Gabby. Heather and Anya really have to regroup here, Jerry, because I feel like they really put a lot into that first set and came away with nothing. They, they get a big lead in this set, Martina and Gabby. I'm looking for Gabby to sort of show her harder, more spin serve, what she did in an earlier match when they got a big lead. We'll see if she tries that here. Oh, 
You know what? They're not used to being at net. <laughs> and they had a little indecision there. That was Anya's ball there. moving by Anya and that's what happens. Gabby's looking to go to the middle, Anya's moving forward. hesitation there. I think they both were wondering if the other one was going to take it. on her mind. She's not just lobbing because she can't drive. I have to somehow find Martina on some of these lobs. And you better make sure you lob Martina deep or she'll yeah. find the net. Yeah. So it's, it's tough. They are tough at net. Yeah, it's hard to figure out what Prop and Kazakavich can do to penetrate Nicolescu and Andrekova at the net right now. Heather's just very efficient with her strokes her movement, very purposeful, and that's their play. And I think that's what they've got to do more. If Heather can bring the ball down and Anya just keep moving forward. She, she came in and then she hesitated and her hands were down. She could just keep moving forward with her hands up. She'd be right on top of the net. pressure of the overheads, the combination of spins that Gabby and Martina throw at you. Love 40. Well placed love right between them. Anytime you can get your opponents to hit a backhand overhead with their back to the net, you've hit a good spot. that Gabby has perfected. She squats down below the yeah. net and just holds her paddle up above her head. It's very hard to do. <laughs> so Jerry, as Gabby and Martina go up three love, yeah. this is the fourth Grand Prix tournament they've played in. They didn't play in the Midwesterns and they won the three other ones they played in. 
So if they win this match, they'll be in the finals to make it a, a sweep. So they'll finish in first place for the absolutely the Children's Cup. Yeah, so this is a Grand Prix series of five tournaments, and this is our fifth one. And these guys really, I, they haven't lost. What's their stats? I think we have a breakdown of uh, what their stats are. I'll get it for you later. That wasn't the right ball for Anya to try to come in now. In on. Oh, we just got an update. Cruz and Anika are up 3-2 in the first set against Dardis and Shea in the other women's semi-final. That's a rematch of a very good final from the Midwesterns. Heather and I did a better job there of getting some of those lobs to Martina and pulling her into the middle to get her off balance. confident they're on a 15 and 0 streak record just this season of course they are the defending national champion national. so yeah. they're very hard to stop Sorry, all right Heather's, they're on the board Heather prop serving Just the spin. She's got. I'm just got to let that ball go in. It's just too hard to control off the deck. But you know, it's like we said before. She doesn't want to have to control it low in the wires either. And that's why people try to take that off the deck, even though it's so hard to control.
her Gabby didn't like that one. A rare volleyer. Gabby is the only woman who hits more volley winners than errors, Jerry. Our stats tell us. Again, in the sport of errors, that's an incredible achievement. Yeah, and she does, she baits her opponents they into going for too much yeah. and gets them out of position and then volleys behind them. So you know, she's really set up a lot of ways that she can hurt you, along with Martina. hit off the return. Martina looking at her paddle because she couldn't quite understand how she missed hit the ball that badly. And you hear Heather that she's thinking they're, they're trying to change the looks but nothing seems to be working. I like that they stayed back. I like that they came up. I think they could play Australian and switch. I think they could stay back and take over the net. I mean, they're well, willing. What Heather tried to do there, but she missed the serve. Yep. They're willing to make adjustments, and it's just a matter of, you know, stringing a couple of points together. But you know, Gabby and Martina have all the answers. And they're like a freight train. They just keep coming at you. Tina Andrekova serving to Anya Kazakevich. Yes, great spot by Anya. Martina's serve has been extremely solid this match. I don't think she's missed any, and they've all been nice and deep, unattackable. Nice spot by Anya. I like when she really finishes that swing. pressure of Gabby not trying to do too much with the ball just deflect it back to Anya straight deep and slow and just basically saying to your opponent go ahead hit something bigger oh she had a little slash there to her repertoire boy Heather did a great job catching up with that Court positioning by Martina. She's straddling the line after she hits the ball into Heather's corner. So the only place that's open is the low percentage third, high part of the net. They really do a great job of shutting down the high percentage areas.
40-15. Two points for 5-1. So that's why I think Anya can pull that ball down the line. Catch them in a shift. It's a great shot. Some opportunities in there where, where Gabby and Martina don't shift all the way over. And Anya could take that ball and lob it down the line or even throw out a little scout shot. Nice. There we go. Strung a few points together. Mm -hmm. Deuce. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors here at Short Hills. Yes, Viking we've is got the some big sponsors to thank. Yes, Viking is the official sponsor of the APTA. We'd also like to thank Osteo Biflex, Barringer Vineyard, Club Pilates, Maplecrest Ford, Spiro Harrison Law Firm, Narragansett Brewery, and the New Jersey Men's Platform Tennis Association. Fifteen all. You know, if you're going to stand up there when there's a bullet coming at you, you better be low with your backhand volley set. Give them a target that's going to work for you. Gabby tried a little spin there. <laughs> you knew something was going to happen because she really bent her knees. She was loading up. All right, 30 all. Heather was running for the door. Heather hit five or six good deep lobs that point and finally got her team into a winning position. All right, point to hold serve here. Yeah, I like that lob by Heather causes a little bit of confusion because they're not quite shifting there. All right, hold. Tried the back spin shot there, mm -hmm. but didn't really have her body weight behind her. Let's hit it. Good hold by Anna Kazakevich. So just a reminder, right after this match, we're going to be showing the first of two men's quarterfinals tonight. We're going to be showing actually a, re a repeat of the match in Boston between the number five seeds, Max Lepervere and George Wilkinson will be playing the number four seeds of Hughes and Powers. So that was a third set up and down match in Boston two weeks ago so both teams I'm sure are anxious to get on the court again and battle it out there was a crazy tiebreaker in that match Jerry looking forward to the rematch there's the that flat 
accurate overhead from Martina. We haven't seen too many of that because Gabby's been taking a lot of the overheads, but when Martina is on the left and she lines it up, she's very accurate with that nick. Fifteen love. Five two. going after Anya in the corner. Tell you what, Gabby's obviously been working on a spin overhead because she's pulled out it a few times here. That'll be a nice addition to her game. It's too big. She had the shot. She had it well set up. Just went for too much. 30 love. 30 love. 5-2. Second set. Nice pick up there. Yeah, I thought Heather hit a great return. Gabby gets down so low on those volleys, Jerry. They just keep their paddles up in front. Thirty fifteen. Just got an update date from the other women's semifinals. Uh, Cruz and Anika won the first set 6-2 from Dardis and Shea. Dardis and Shea are the number two seeds. Cruz and Anika are the number three seeds. Dardis and Shea do have a losing record to Cruz and Anika this year though. Cross-foot drive by Heather there. Again, she held it. 30 all. This is a service game where Heather can really step in and hit. Break point. Anya really needs to do the same thing here. Really move in. She kind of hesitates. She really could be in closer on that. That was a, a relatively short serve. You just saw the speed of the ball accelerating with Gabby's roller. It just hit the back screen and took off. And Heather really was at full reach. Back to Deuce. Tricky. Yeah, she tricked him. Made it look like she was going to drive and then went straight down the line. So these last few points have really been more with Heather and Anya's speed. They're staying in the points and Gabby's not able to tee off as much and it's changing the momentum of this last game. Yeah, Heather and Anya are feeling good right now. They, they both have that look about them if they can keep this match going. Gabby and Martina have backed down just mm -hmm. a little bit.
no commitment to that forehand. Heather and Anya, you know, have been knocking on the door to matches just like this where they get close <coughs> and they just need one of those matches to break through and I think it would really give them a lot of confidence. They're right there. Gabby just punishes you immediately with spins. She keeps that person in trouble. She doesn't let them off the hook. And here we are, match point for the national champions and they are undefeated in every tournament they have played this year. Pretty incredible since we're looking at the nationals next month. Yep. Nice rip. Dude. Give a, a shout out to Molly Brown and Katie Adams who took a set from Martina and Gabby this morning. Is this for Anya should just let that go through to Heather. They're, they're in this game for sure. Put some pressure on them and leave the pressure on them. That's a good shot. That's what I'm talking about. She doesn't shift over and Heather can catch them in a shift. Either drive that same shot or love that down the line. Back to Deuce. They're not going away. Very smooth. That's just when you have to say too good. She yeah. didn't do anything wrong. That's it. She couldn't reach it. Yeah, Heather took the chance and it paid off. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. job of keeping these balls in play because they're not easy. Gabby's really putting a lot of spin. The ball's breaking on the court, breaking on the screen. Yeah, too big a backswing. Back to deuce. I like how they're playing this game though. Last couple of games, they've really gotten into a good rhythm. Match point number two. Three. Thank you, John Scott. There it is. Game, set, and match. The number one seeds are through to the finals, and they will await the winner of Dardis and Shea and Cruz and Anika. So you can see why they're so good, right? They've got big weapons off the deck. They've got big weapons in the, the volleys and the overheads. Yeah, and they're quick and they defend well. So they got it all covered. Okay, so what happens here with these points, Lauren? If they, what? if uh, Nikolescu and Andrekova win this tournament, they'll get 25 points. Right. So they'll have 100 because yeah, so they get 25 points for each of the four Grand Prix they've won. So they'll right. have 100. Now, if Dardis and Shea win this match and get to the finals and lose to them, they'll be tied. They'll both have 100. No, I'm doing math wrong. They'll win. Okay. They'll have 103. Right. So either they're going to, whoever wins this match between Cruz and Anika and Dardis and Shea will be the leader in the Children's Cup standings. Right. 
So it's been a battle all the way down to this last tournament. So the Grand Prix Tour has really been a big success. The same thing on the men's side. We've got uh, the top five teams. Well, Johan Durant and Mark Parsons are not here uh, playing this tournament, but any of those next three, four teams, if they win, will, will be number one in this cup. So we're going to take a, a break, a quick break, and then we're going to be coming back with the men's first quarterfinal for the night. We'll be back in a few minutes.